For 2015, Chevrolet is betting big on something really small. It's called the Trax, and as you might already know, it's been on sale in Canada and Mexico, as well as several other markets since 2012. It's powered by a turbocharged 1.4 liter engine that sends power to the front wheels or optionally through an all-wheel drive system. It makes 138 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque powered through a six-speed transmission. This car rides on the same platform as the Chevrolet Sonic and is almost mechanically identical to the Buick Encore. If it seems strange to imagine General Motors, a company known for its massive SUVs, fielding such small utility vehicles, you can get used to seeing more of the same. After all, many other companies are about to launch very similar products. For example, Chevrolet says that this car will compete with the upcoming Jeep Renegade. Nissan's Juke also sits in the same segment, and Chevrolet says that this is actually one of the fastest growing segments in the U.S. auto market. Now, if you've ever been inside of a Sonic, you'll see some familiar pieces here in the tracks. For example, the gauge cluster follows a similar styling to that car. If you've been inside of the Buick Encore, you'll notice that there are also, of course, quite a few similarities, although the cabin materials are quite a bit less expensive and premium. Now, if you're familiar with the Canadian market tracks, you might notice that there are a few cosmetic differences. For example, the U.S. cars will have chrome trim on the door handles available, and also the front fascia has been mildly revised. Standard equipment with the car includes 16-inch steel wheels, although the LTZ top trim package comes standard with 18-inch alloys. The cabin also features Chevrolet's MyLink infotainment system, which gives you access to high-tech features like Ringo navigation, which is powered by your smartphone. Chevrolet hasn't said anything about fuel economy numbers, but this car, remember, is mechanically the same as the Buick Encore, and that car is supposed to average 28 miles per gallon. I'd be willing to bet the farm that this thing's going to average exactly that. Similarly, Chevrolet hasn't said anything about price, but if you go north of the border, this car starts at right around $18,600. Of course, that's before delivery charges, and you can expect the pricing to change, probably in the southern direction. Speaking of when the car is supposed to show up, Chevrolet says that its dealers are planning on taking delivery sometime around this December.